ever there was a time to follow your passion and do something that matters to you, I say do it now. Let me tell you about an important decision that I made. I applied for Fiat Rev and Polar because I wanted to celebrate my life this far and to encourage myself that the best is yet to come. I have done it, thanks to everyone. The thing that I've learned from Polar is that an adventure isn't made up of an amount of days. It's the time that you reflect on it afterwards and before the preparation and the memories. It's great to be in the moment, but those moments are often fleeting. It's the adventure and the memories of that adventure that I take with me and bring me together with my friends across the oceans. Not a single day passes without me awake dreaming of Fiel Ramen Polar. Since I returned home, there has been nothing that I desire more than to make of those mountains and white landscapes my forever home. Building trust isn't always easy. <laughs> the first time you meet a dog is magical. And if you trust and respect, Chances are high that they consent. And the sled is basically pulled by dogs. Nothing could prepare me for what was ahead of me. When I loosen strings and anchor, I let myself pull into the unknown. Making our way through the Arctic wilderness, we got to the first camp place in the evening. As I was melting snow that night and looked up in the sky, I got to see it for the very first time in my life. It's beautiful. The Northern Lights. Whoa! This was the most magical night in my life. How'd you sleep? Um, it's so actually... Yeah? <laughs> Did you see the Northern Lights last yeah. night? You did! I missed them again! Over the six days on Fjall River and Polar, I learned the importance of having a positive mental attitude and the power of surrounding yourself with good people. 
we did this crazy, difficult, challenging thing, but we all loved it. Yes, we were tired, cold and sore. A negative voice could have made for a really different experience. But I was with my team, who wanted to enjoy themselves and learn from every challenge. That positivity is infectious. It's a priority in your life. It's difficult to, to, to not be around dogs all the time because they're basically, you know, you need to have a place or at least have a, access to a place where you can have your dogs. And then it's also this with life priorities, you know, it's, it's often said that especially one amongst mushrooms is that okay the dogs comes first and then you and it's always like that if you have been out training with them you don't go in and eat dinner and then, then go out feeding the dogs you take care of the dogs whatever they need then you go eat, in and out so it's always in that order you need to have food accessible for them you need to plan ahead okay how much food do you have how do you have enough you need to have the gear Training. Okay, do I have enough harnesses, for example? Do I have enough? Is the sled fixed? Is the dog house okay? Is the dog yard okay? Is, is the surface okay? Is the vaccines, uh, you know, due or are they up to date? So there is a lot of things in, in that. But first of all, machine is also a way. It's it's driven by passion. That you must never, never forget that mushing is not nothing you have to do. It's something you choose to do. And if you are a musher, it's really hard to, to put away that passion. After many years, it becomes part of you because you're so used to interact with animals and the dogs that they become part of your family, part of your identity. At Caravan Pola, I learned a lot about myself and what I can accomplish. I learned to pitch a tent on the snow. I learned to light a fire on the snow. I learned to prepare food for our dogs and the team. I learned to organize my sled. I learned to dress up and undress. All this with thick clothes and with temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees. Polar allowed me to witness that I can be part of such an adventure. That I am able to go on a 300 km dog sled expeditions through the Arctic and take care of my dogs, my team, and myself in sometimes unforgiving conditions. It felt so good to be up there surrounded with like-minded adventurers and go together on a mission. I miss them a lot. I miss my dogs. I miss the wild landscape. I miss to be part of nature. Hey, hey, Thomas here. It's so super cool that we are able to experience this adventure together. I miss all of you and the time so much. Um, what I take away from Polar is that water doesn't just come out of the wall and now I have 19 new friends. Bye bye and see you out there. We slept under the open sky and the northern lights, we started to become a real team. Silas being a walking book, ready for discussing everything. John always on the go, making fire, cheering us up and joking all the time. My Lise being calm and creating harmony. And of course Roy, our guide, telling us about the environment, the dogs and stories from his life as a mushroom. 
need to give you some information before the, you know, the chaos uh, starts. So I couldn't you know, even imagine such a team. This is what's gonna happen the next. Uh, now it we have. There was a bonding. One hour and 15 minutes so we will be set or ready to go. So what we need to do now? Stop. We need to pass the sleds first. Everything. Living through the Filarev and Polar expedition reminded me why I have always loved the Arctic. The happiness I felt in the middle of the open white landscape was something I will never forget. <laughs> how, about, how, was, how have you found like, this team? Oh, oh. How Polar changed my life? It's a great question. Polar make me realize that I want an adventure life. I want to be in an unknown place every morning, always in movement and in nature. I don't want a dull life with a boring daily routine. And it make me realize that I can believe in myself. Embarking on this journey taught me a lot on what I was capable of. Getting out of your comfort zone and going back to basics, which is food, warmth and shelter, is the simplest yet hardest thing that modern men and women can do. But it's also the most rewarding as it can purify the mind and show you what really matters. I will never forget my time at Fjellreven Polar, the landscape that I witnessed, the people that I met, and the change that this five-day journey made in my life. At one point I got used to the routine and conditions, even though my body was exhausted. It was normal to wake up with a layer of ice on my sleeping bag, hearing nothing but the wind pushing against the tent and the howling dogs and then trying to defreeze my shoes. the conditions started to become more intense and rough. Fjallraven Polar 2023 didn't just change my life, um, it also changed me. Um, the snow, the ice and the northern lights and the dogs and I am so blessed to have been given and completed this adventure and I gained 19 friends who are now my family. Um, thank you Polar and I couldn't have wished for anything as amazing as I have received. And I love everyone who I did my polo trip with. The wind started howling so loud I couldn't properly understand my teammates anymore. Working got so much harder because of all the twirling snow that caused bedside. 
after the start we got into a snow drift. I had never experienced something like that. We were hiding behind the sleds, only trusting our musher and the instincts of the dogs. There was no way turning back. All my cameras stopped working for a while. The physical law stopped. It was mystical. We entered a place where snow, wind, mountains and sky became one. And I realized all power is nature. When we came out of this, I felt like waking up from a dream. I was speechless. Okay, first question, what does it mean to be a Russian? First of all, let's define what mushing is. Um, mushing is a lifestyle that includes, of course, dogs, but also um, interaction with dogs. So it kind of starts with that. 